Let's think about why carboxylic acids react the way they do. So to do that, we're going to compare three compounds. So we're going to compare three organic compounds. The first one is ethanol. The next one is phenol. And the final one is ethanoic acid. So ethanol, phenol, <coughs> and ethanoic acid. And we're going to have a little ponder about why ethanoic acid behaves like an acid. Ethanol doesn't, and we remind ourselves what happens with phenol. So, ethanol, you know, is not an acid. How do you know it's not an acid? Does it taste like an acid? Is it, you know, you've got, if you think about a lemon, very sharp taste. What about ethanol? None of you drunk ethanol before? No? Okay. Doesn't taste like an acid. Okay. What about vinegar? Have you tasted vinegar before? Yes, yeah, some of you have. Okay. Perhaps on your chips and things like that. That's got quite an acidic taste, quite a sharp taste. Phenol, none of you would hope you tasted phenol before, because otherwise you probably won't be with us in your lesson. Why does phenol behave? Is phenol acidic? If we draw it out, during the last term, we said the phenol is slightly acidic. And the reason why he can lose that hydrogen to give me H plus, and that becomes negative, what can happen to this negative charge? What happens, what do we say, what happens to those, that lone pair on the oxygen in phenol? And we talked about the reactivity of phenol. Yeah, because that low pair can go, be donated into the benzene ring. So in a similar way, this negative charge can be donated into the benzene ring, which makes it more stable. Ethanoic acid, when it behaves like an acid, it donates a hydrogen. So it loses the hydrogen. So in water, it's in equilibrium with this iron plus H plus. What could happen to that negative charge? I've drawn it like that. Does it matter, or would it have mattered, if I had drawn it like that? Yeah, the H plus. What about this less negative charge? Does it have to be on that oxygen? Could it perhaps be shared between? Do you remember we talked about resonant structures? No, I don't think I can't remember. Well, this negative charge can be shared between these three atoms. So we can spread the negative charge over the <coughs> two oxygen atoms. So rather than having a full negative charge on that oxygen, we can end up, you know how we draw benzene with the ring to show that the electrons are delocalized? We can draw ethanoic acid, the iron, which is called the ethanoate iron, in a similar way, with the negative charge spread over those two oxygens. And because it can spread over two oxygen atoms, it's more stable. Can this guy, if this was possible, just an aqueous solution, plus H plus. Could that be spread over any atoms at all? He's not going to want to, what, what could he do? He could make a bond there, make that a double bond? Oh, I can't do one of the atoms. So 
to know he can't do that. That negative charge would be spread on, would be focused on that one oxygen atom. So he doesn't like doing that. However, the aphanoate ion, which I have here, can do it. It can spread over the two oxygen atoms. So the key thing to remember for this is, uh, is because they can act as a proton donor because of the delocalized electrons. So we've got delocalized electrons over the two oxygen atoms. And those of you that are in, do you remember doing resonance structures? Maybe resonance structures. Shall we try and draw the two resonance structures for the anoate ion? What could I do? I can say that negative charge could go there. What would happen to that? And that double bond. So I'd have this resonance structure there. And the reality we would say is somewhere between those two structures. So it's a bit of when we did benzene, and we said I could put the bonds there, but equally they could be shifted around to give me that. And the reality is in the middle there. And the reality for this would be that with a negative charge delocalized. So it basically spreads the negative charge. The more we can spread charge out, the better for our molecules. It makes them more stable. So ethanoic acid, the clue is in the name, will behave like an acid. It's a proton donor. But He's a very, very weak acid. He's not very good at donating his hydrogen. And um, in, when you look at acids in more detail, you'll go into that and look at what makes a weak acid a weak acid compared to something like hydrochloric acid. Remember it's a weak acid? You know, you wouldn't want to drink hydrochloric acid, would you? Not on a good day. However, you're probably reasonably happy to pop some vinegar on your chips and it's not going to kill you. So it's a weak acid. And um, when you look at your drawing, you do the equilibrium expressions for that. So that's ethanoic acid as a, as a, as a weak acid. Um, we also need to think about how they work with water. Is ethanoic acid going to be soluble in water? What type of in Molecular force is in between water molecules. Hydrogen bonds. Yeah. Can ethanoic acid form a hydrogen bond? Yes, it can. Yeah. Because he's got delta negative there, delta plus there. I could have an oxygen atom there, the middle over there, like so. He can form a nice hydrogen bond with the oxygen there. So, <coughs> he can form hydrogen bonds. What do you reckon this is going to do? Is that going to form hydrogen bonds instead? This carbon chain thing is getting in the way. If I've got water molecules knocking around, they want a hydrogen bond with each other. This bit getting in the way, stopping it. The longer I make this chain, the less soluble they become. So if I make this too long, they disrupt the other hydrogen bonds going, and although they can do this, this bit, if it doesn't like mixing with water, what do we call it? That's hydrophilic. What part would this be? Hydrophobic, yeah. Remember, going back to GCSE, do you remember doing the hydrophobic and hydrophobic parts of molecules? No? Okay. Yay! <coughs> So that bit is hydrophobic, doesn't like water. This bit is hydrophilic, likes mixing it up with a bit of water. Okay. So you need to know about solubility, that sometimes pops up um, on questions and it sometimes pops up about <coughs> the hydrogen bond. But the exciting thing is, because these reactive acids, 
you can do lots of equations with them. So, general acid equations. Can we remember those? Let's have a think. I have got acid plus metal gives me a salt Okay, um, what about, we had someone mention acid plus base. Brill, acid plus base gives me a salt plus water. And the more difficult one, acid plus carbonate, or metal carbonate, shall we say, just to make it clear. A salt. Plus water plus carbon dioxide. Like so. So those general equations I don't think on your summary sheet, so you may just want to put those on the arm back. <coughs> and we just need to think um, what would we see happening? What would you see in this one? You see fizzing and what would happen to this over time? Dissolve. It would yeah, that would dissolve. Um, what would you see in this one? Yeah, the base would disappear and you would see disappear and bubbles. Yeah, cool. So you just need to think about the, the observations. So, shall we try doing some examples of those? What we'll do is we'll do the word um, equations, then we'll think about putting it into simple equations and we'll see how we get on. So, here's some practice equations. We're going to do the first one together and then give it a go yourselves for the rest. Ethanoic acid plus sodium. This comes from acid plus metal. What's the easy thing for me to do? Plus hydrogen. The more difficult thing is my salt. To get to the salt, the first part of the name comes from Okay, so it's going to be called sodium something. What's the last part of the name? It's going to come from this. A family, yeah, brill. Brilliant. Let's try and do a balanced equation now. Ethanol <coughs> acid is CH3COOH. Sodium is Na plus. Oh no, I said Na. To go to the salt, what's going to be the formula? The ethanoate ion is going to be CH3COO minus. What's going to be the charge on sodium? Na plus. So it's one to one plus hydrogen is going to be H2. And to balance that, I need a half H2. Okay, so over to you.